Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And today we have our final prequel short from the Midnight Suns video game, which I do have and it downloaded this morning. I'm, I'm a few days late on this short film because uh, this came out a couple days ago. And today is the release date of Midnight Suns. So I will definitely be playing it, but I don't know if I have time this weekend. But it is downloading to my Xbox right now, so I will play it as soon as possible. Um, probably early next week, um, hopefully on my day off on Tuesday. So uh, be on the lookout over on Twitch. I will definitely be playing that game, and I will you know, cut those videos down, edit them, and post them up on my gaming channel for those of you who are watching and have been watching this channel as we've been following this game and talking about you know, some of the comic stuff and some of the other things and Ghost Rider in general and going through my Ghost Rider collection, all the stuff we've been doing on Seek and Destroy. It's now come to a head here with the Midnight Suns video game. And after this prequel short, you probably won't see anything else on this channel from the game because everything will be on my gaming channel. So I'll put a link to that down below. Make sure you go subscribe to me over there if you want to see future content of Midnight Suns. So without further ado, let's get into the prequel shorts here. I want to watch this. This is about Nico and her joining the team or being a, a founding member of the team or something. I don't know exactly what's going on, but apparently she's very essential to the team being built. And she's a really cool character from the comic Runaways. So if you've never read that by Brian K. Vaughn, Check it out, it's freaking awesome. So without further ado, let's do this right now. All right, we get this cool intro, love it. Yeah. I love the animation style in this intro too. It's, it's interesting because this is not the animation style of the short films. <laughs> and I was kind of hoping it would be. And in the first episode, they had a unique art style to it. But ever since then, it's been like this CGI, kind of Marvel Spider-Man, you know, from the MTV show kind of animation style. So, uh, yeah, but it's it works. But it's definitely getting me excited for the game even more. So. And I've been seeing more. I have been staying away from, like, reviews in general, but just the basic word I've been hearing about the game is that the combat turned out a lot of people are liking the combat. And uh, the Abbey side quest stuff and story people aren't liking as much and that's kind of a bummer to hear but I'll still try it out for myself and decide for myself. Alright, here we go. Nico TV. And again, I'll put a link to this down below if you want to watch it by, without me talking over it. Oh, she's got a runaway shirt on. That's complicated. Cool. Magic barely comes out of her room. The only person I've seen her speak with is Wanda. So she's at the Abbey. Okay. She's slow to trust. <laughs> Blade needs to himself. It's different from Magic. He doesn't want to get close to any. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I just love that. I love that Blaze just stand there like I Robbie don't want this. Really homesick. Okay, so she's essentially she can't make friends. Brother every day. I'm the youngest one here. The others, their abilities are just so cool, and freaky. Wow. I'm just so random. Wanda looks awesome. Then Molly Hayes. That's when I thought of you. You were the youngest of the runaways, but you always found a way to oh, bring us together. That's cool. Uh, Wanda said you like weird candy. <laughs> awesome. Oh, so she's going out. Was it Molly? Um, or Holly, the, the youngest girl from Runaways? That's cool that she she referenced her. That's awesome. You were our heart and soul. Better. Nice. Hey there. You wouldn't mind if I organized like a Midnight Suns movie night, right? For real? <laughs> okay, so she's basically. So, I guess yeah. this is what the characters will do in I don't the game. Know how I can contribute um, to this team. We're gonna. Yet, we gotta make relationships, I guess, with what? the other team members. None of that matters. I don't need to be. Blade's not even like. <laughs> no reaction. <laughs> Blue that keeps us and magic together. smiling. And that's more than enough for me. So that's cool. Now that I made you blush, I gotta get to sleep. Blade likes to train early. So love you, Malls. Yeah, that's Molly. Yeah, that's cool. All right, that's neat. So she just made like a little YouTube video or something, or, or uh, just like explaining to Molly, like, hey, you've inspired me 
to be more like you on this team and try to pull the team together um, because everyone kind of does their own thing. So yeah, that's kind of neat. I mean, so I guess that's kind of the focus of the game too. You'll have to kind of do that in a way to earn certain points and level up certain characters. And like I said, I've heard from the feedback so far, just the minimal feedback I've seen is that the Abbey stuff isn't actually that interesting and that some of the characters don't feel like they're written well, like for the characters. And, and that's kind of a bummer because these have been great. These shorts have been awesome. Like her referencing Molly and, and then showing Blade like being stoic during training and he's just like not interested. You know, like let's get to the fighting stuff and not the magic wielding stuff. And then he just smacks her across the, the room or whatever. Um, and then her trying to just make friends and stuff. It's like, okay, that's cool. I guess that's kind of the part of the Abbey that is part of the game. So that's cool that, that this short reflects that, but they do it through a character like Nico. And I like that she referenced the other runaway characters, which is awesome. So I don't know, for me, this is uh, this is cool. It's great that we've got to see these shorts and they set up the game. And now I hope that at least the some of the writing in these shorts I liked, and I hope that does carry over into the game. And I hope, you know, the people that are critical of it you know, maybe I won't agree with them. We'll see. We'll see how it how it goes. But uh, I'll definitely be playing this game as soon as possible. I promise. I just got a lot going on today. I got Kickstarter updates and other things I'm working on. So with everything going on and, and stuff in my real life and stuff with Ace, so I'll do my best and I'll, I'll get uh, to playing Midnight Suns very, very soon. So I'll put a link to Twitch down below and my gaming channel for those of you who want to watch it later. For those who want to hang out live and talk to me while I play it, link is to Twitch down below as well. So, and of course, the link to this video I'll put down below so you can watch it without me talking over it. So a lot of links down there. Go check them all out for sure. And uh, follow me on Twitch. Subscribe to me on my other gaming channel if you like gaming stuff. And I'll have more Silent Hill stuff coming to that channel soon. And Midnight Suns and Gotham Knights videos posting up very soon. So thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.